beneath the surface of Iceland, an alarming situation is unfolding, capturing the attention of those living in the region. The once stable ground now quivers with foreboding seismic tremors, causing unease among the residents. A massive 100-foot crack has emerged, sparking concern and anxiety across Europe. This could potentially be the precursor to the largest volcanic eruption the continent has ever witnessed. As uncertainty looms over the inhabitants, experts are working tirelessly to unravel the imminent threat. But what does this impending disaster mean for Europeans and the world? Join us as we explore the intricate details of this unfortunate sequence of events as Iceland's 100-feet volcano crack is about to cause the biggest eruption in Europe. Iceland boasts a captivating history of volcanic activity that spans not just decades, but centuries. We turn now to the spectacular eruption of a volcano in Iceland. Recently, the nation has declared a state of emergency due to heightened volcanic occurrences. On November 13, 2023, a series of earthquakes prompted the evacuation of thousands from Grindavik, a town nestled in southwest Iceland. But is this truly surprising news? It's important to understand that Iceland is a hub of geological dynamism, boasting 33 active volcano systems. Positioned on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, where the colossal North American and Eurasian tectonic plates converge, Iceland is described as an emerged part of the ocean floor. This unique location makes it one of the most tectonically active places globally. While news of volcanic eruptions in Iceland may not be shocking given its history, there's a distinct aspect to this latest event. In the 10th century, the Vatna Oldur eruption at Bardarbunga marked the first recorded volcanic incident in the region after human settlement. Subsequent eruptions have continued to disrupt the country's stability, including the noteworthy Ejafjallajökull eruption of 2010, which significantly impacted European air travel. Interestingly, this volcano displayed a cyclic pattern of activity, erupting in 920, 1613, and 1821 to 1823. However, Iceland's volcanic rhythm has undergone a shift. Typically, eruptions occur approximately every five years, but since 2021, they've been happening almost annually. Fagradalsfjall, an area about 35 kilometers from Reykjavik, the capital city, usually witnesses these eruptions. In 2021 and 2022, Fagradalsfjall even transformed into a tourist attraction, drawing visitors from around the world eager to witness the captivating lava flows. The volcanic landscape of Iceland, with its dynamic history and recent changes, continues to captivate both locals and global observers alike. Recent news of eruptions from another volcano has left everyone on edge, as it could potentially be the largest eruption ever witnessed in Europe. This is a significant concern, because volcanic eruptions can have a profound impact on the well-being of the Icelandic people, given the harmful substances concealed in volcanic ash. These eruptions release various gases, including heat-trapping carbon dioxide, CO2 and cooling gases like sulfur dioxide, SO2. The repercussions of major volcanic events, such as the devastating Mount Tambora eruption in 1815, which led to famine, serve as a somber reminder of the disruptive and deadly nature of these occurrences. Another historical example is the Lockheed eruption of 1783, which unleashed clouds of poisonous fluorine and sulfur dioxide resulting in the tragic demise of about 50% of Iceland's livestock population. Larger eruptions can transport ash over vast distances, as seen in the 2010 Ejafjallajökull eruption, whose ash spread across Europe. Despite the challenges posed by volcanic ash, there is a silver lining. Other volcanic activities have led to the discovery of minerals crucial to industrial production. Iceland's unique geological features, such as the breathtaking Dimuborgia rock formations, attract tourists from around the world, adding an economic and aesthetic dimension to the country's volcanic legacy. 
However, these aesthetic and economic benefits do not diminish the sense of anticipation hanging over Grindavik and the entirety of Iceland. They provide little consolation for the impending eruption of the 100-foot volcano crack, which threatens to displace people, damage properties, and worst of all, claim lives. The signs are evident, prompting residents to evacuate their homes in preparation for this frightening possibility. Meanwhile, the looming uncertainty raises questions about the safety and future of the affected communities. The town of Grindavik has been jolted by an overwhelming surge in seismic activity, experiencing more than a thousand earthquakes since October 24, 2023. At one alarming point, an astonishing 800 tremors rattled the area in just 24 hours. This unsettling seismic unrest prompted swift action from Icelandic authorities, resulting in the closure of popular tourist spots and the issuance of evacuation orders compelling residents to hastily leave their homes. The Reykjanes Peninsula also faced over 1,000 earthquakes within a mere 24-hour period before the evacuation, signaling a worrisome surge in seismic activity that demanded immediate attention. Captured footage revealed steam rising from a crack, a startling sight that raised concerns within the Civil Protection Agency. The government emphasized that the country is confronting unprecedented events, unlike anything Icelanders have experienced since the Vestmannaeyjar eruption in 1973, which endured for six months, necessitating the evacuation of an island and destroying several hundred homes. Despite the challenges, the government reinstated resilience, rallying the nation with a message of unity and determination. The urgency tied to the Grindavik earthquake stems from an underground river of magma stretching an incredible 15 kilometers in length. The presence of this active magma flow raised serious concerns, leading to the mandatory evacuation of the town. Despite efforts to grant residents brief access to gather essential belongings, the high-risk status of the area has made re-entry impossible, maintaining a delicate situation for the town's inhabitants. This unsettling development also prompted street closures, effectively halting travel in the area for an indefinite period. To safeguard the region, construction has commenced on protective barriers encircling a critical geothermal plant near Grindavik. The efforts aim to shield the area from potential hazards and ensure the safety of both the environment and the people residing in Grindavik. This power source is crucial for the entire country, ensuring that electricity keeps flowing everywhere. The goal was to shield this important infrastructure from potential lava flows, making sure the electricity supply stays uninterrupted. However, this protective measure led to a significant part of Grindavik experiencing a power outage shortly afterwards. In a race against time, Workers worked tirelessly to restore electricity before any potential eruption, emphasizing the proactive steps taken to safeguard the town's essential services in the face of the looming volcanic threat. Recognizing the urgency and distress of the situation, the police granted special permission to select residents of Grindavik on November 16th. Accompanied by rescue vehicle escorts, these individuals were allowed a brief return to the town to retrieve their valuables, aiming to ease their immediate concerns. The community's response to the impending crisis is both impressive and necessary. As tensions rise, shelters and support systems are swiftly established to help those displaced by the unfolding events. A non-profit organization equipped with an app to locate missing pets sprang into action. Their efforts resulted in the rescue of various animals, including 49 cats, 4 hamsters, 90 pigeons, sheep, frogs, parrots, 3 kittens, and a rabbit from the town. This compassionate endeavor amid the crisis showcased the community's commitment to the welfare of its residents, both human and animal alike. This situation highlights how significantly the earthquake displaced residents, offering insight into how dire things could be if the impending eruption occurs. The fear and unrest have spread throughout the community, 
After a series of recorded earthquakes, the seismic activity in Iceland appeared to decrease, dropping to about 200 tremors daily by November 20th. However, on November 23rd, approximately 250 quakes were recorded from midnight to 11.30 a.m. Despite this, authorities maintain that the overall earthquake activity seemed to be on a decreasing trend. Even though the recent slowdown in earthquake activity may seem like a positive development, it's not easing the tension in the area. Scientists are examining this decrease with caution, emphasizing that fewer earthquakes might offer a temporary sigh of relief, but don't necessarily mean a reduced threat from volcanic activity. The concern arises from the possibility that this lull could be signaling a different phase in the volcanic cycle, possibly indicating the gradual movement of magma closer to the surface. To comprehend the gravity of the situation, experts are delving into Iceland's volcanic history. Drawing parallels with past eruptions is crucial in decoding the current predicament. By comparing the current seismic unrest with historical volcanic events that have left their mark on Iceland, scientists say is an imminent volcanic eruption. Experts are emphasizing the potential magnitude of the imminent eruption and its far-reaching repercussions whether societal, environmental, or economic. At the heart of understanding this looming threat lies the formation of a magma tunnel beneath the affected region. This vertical channel of magma ascending from the depths below presents multifaceted risks. Observations show rapid expansion and inflation of this tunnel, raising fears of a potential eruption. The location and scale of this tunnel pose a grave threat extending concerns far beyond its immediate vicinity and casting a shadow over nearby towns and essential infrastructure. Authorities are deeply worried about potential damage to crucial infrastructure, including buildings and utilities. Professor Van Kranendonk, a geology professor, once shed more light on Iceland's unique geological setup, describing it as part of the ocean floor that has emerged above the water's surface. While volcanic activity usually occurs kilometers underground, these eruptions predominantly take place beneath the ocean surface. This adds another layer of complexity to the current situation, heightening concerns about the potential impact on both the immediate area and the broader region. Beneath the serene surface of Iceland, its famous landmarks, such as the iconic Blue Lagoon, owe their existence to the simmering magma just beneath the Earth's crust. Although Iceland might seem calm, Professor Van Kranendonk emphasizes that beneath this tranquility, geological forces persistently churn. These forces, over time, lead to volcanic eruptions. Currently, some of that magma is finding its way through cracks, inching closer to the surface, hinting at imminent activity. The seismic tremors experienced in Grindelvik may not resemble the destructive earthquakes witnessed in other parts of the world, like Italy or the Americas, which occur at significant depths within the Earth's crust. In contrast, Iceland's tremors are situated just a few hundred meters below the surface. Despite their proximity, some people may not fully grasp how disastrous these volcanoes can be. Consider the Toba supereruption, for instance. Though it didn't happen in Iceland, nothing comes close in size. Around 74,000 years ago in Indonesia, the Toba caldera blew its lid and ejected a staggering 2,800 cubic kilometers of lava, spreading ash far and wide. The aftermath was intense, triggering what scientists call a volcanic winter. The ash blocked sunlight, temperatures dropped, and the world experienced a significant chill. This massive climate shift likely had a profound impact on human evolution, potentially leading to a bottleneck in our species' development. Another volcanic giant, Mount Etna in Italy, stands as Europe's largest active volcano and one of the busiest in the world. For centuries, people living in Sicily have witnessed its eruptions. The latest major action occurred in 2021, putting on quite a show. These examples illustrate the immense power and far-reaching consequences of volcanic activity, emphasizing the need for vigilance and understanding in the face of the simmering forces beneath Iceland's surface. Now, 
the potential eruption in Iceland might be even more severe than previous ones. Professor van Kranendonk delves into the repercussions of the earthquake swarms, detailing how they've caused significant tears and ruptures across roads, homes, and valleys, essentially causing the island to tear itself apart. These fissures create pathways for liquid magma to rise, setting the stage for a potentially spectacular volcanic eruption. In his analysis, the cracks act as routes for the magma to reach the surface, paving the way for a potentially significant eruption. Professor Van Kranendonk even discussed the visible impact of tectonic movements in Grindelvik, where fissures in the ground reach depths of up to a meter. These visible fissures serve as tangible indicators of the underlying tectonic activity. However, in many cases, signs of an imminent eruption are not as easily noticeable. To keep an eye on things, fancy methods are used, especially in places like Yellowstone. The professor talked about the hot stuff happening there caused by magma not too far below the surface. Sensors help measure how the land is tilting to catch tiny movements that we can't see, like one side going up by 10 centimeters while the other side drops by 5 centimeters over a big space. If this happens, it could be risky for visitors, and authorities need to know. Scientists use special detectors to hear the soft sounds that might signal a volcano is getting ready to blow. They also watch for small changes in how the ground moves, showing that magma might be moving. Checking volcanic gases, gravity, and magnetic fields adds more details to the puzzle. Sometimes all this watching pays off, and scientists can guess when a volcano might erupt, making it safer for everyone. Consider the case of Pinatubo Volcano in the Philippines back in 1991. Thanks to a successful forecast based on advanced monitoring techniques, thousands of lives were saved. The Pinatubo success story underscores the vital role of interpreting consistent changes from the usual activity levels in making accurate short-term eruption forecasts. Now, talking about Grindelvik, there are signs that a volcano might erupt, but we're not exactly sure when or how big it might be. Professor Van Kranendonk says predicting these things is tricky. Even though we know about cracks in the Earth's surface that can give us hints, the way magma mixes with the hard surface is kind of unpredictable. Scientists are doing their best, but volcanoes can be surprising. They sometimes change their behavior out of the blue, making it tough to make accurate predictions. To guess when a volcano might erupt, scientists use a mix of old data, monitoring what's happening right now and knowing a lot about how that specific volcano works. But even looking at past eruptions doesn't always help. Many volcanoes don't have enough records from the past to know when they usually erupt. And just when you think a volcano is doing the same thing over and over, it can surprise everyone by doing something different. Icelandic authorities are, however, taking proactive measures to possibly prevent the greatly anticipated eruption. They are considering the use of water to cool and redirect potential lava flows. But even this approach carries potential dangers, adding an extra layer of complexity to the efforts of managing volcanic threats. Getting involved in these natural forces calls for extensive engineering efforts. While it's feasible to divert lava flows to some extent and influence their direction based on the landscape's steepness, effectively managing large volcanic systems to minimize damage remains a formidable challenge. However, attempting to prevent an eruption might lead to unintended consequences, especially in a land like Iceland, known for its volcanoes. Suppressing lava in one area might redirect it elsewhere, potentially causing a more hazardous eruption than the looming one. The historical eruptions in Iceland have left indelible marks on both the landscape and society. The cataclysmic Laki eruption of 1783 is a haunting reminder. Lasting eight months, this eruption from the Laki fissure system unleashed immense lava volumes and toxic gases, particularly sulfur dioxide, into the atmosphere. The aftermath, known as the Laki Haze, triggered catastrophic global consequences, including altered weather patterns, widespread famine, crop failures, 
and devastating livestock loss. Shockingly, nearly a quarter of Iceland's population succumbed to famine or related diseases during this dire period. The Eldfell eruption in 1973 on Jaime Island further highlights the island's vulnerability. This unexpected event forced the evacuation of the entire population, around 5,300 individuals. Despite extensive damage to homes and infrastructure, no casualties were reported. Despite the upheaval, the resilient community managed to rebuild their lives after months of displacement. Understanding these historical eruptions sheds light on the potential devastation of the Grindavik eruption. Factors like the eruption's location and intensity will determine its impact. Proximity to populated areas will result in significant infrastructure damage and pose risks to the community. The unfolding situation in Grindavik emphasizes the need for careful consideration and preparedness in the face of potential volcanic threats. Moreover, the fallout from a volcanic eruption is not limited to the spectacle of lava alone. Volcanic ash, a disruptive force, could wreak havoc on air travel, causing disturbances at airports and affecting aviation operations. As molten lava courses its way, it poses formidable risks to buildings, roads, and utilities, particularly if the eruption encroaches upon populated areas, jeopardizing homes and vital infrastructure. In the throes of an eruption, the release of toxic gases becomes an added concern, significantly impacting air quality and posing health hazards to nearby residents. Respiratory issues may arise, prompting potential evacuations or the implementation of protective measures. The environmental ramifications extend far and wide, affecting ecosystems, agriculture and water sources, thereby impacting livelihoods and the broader economy. Iceland, boasting resilient emergency response systems forged by its volcanic history, faces a potential spectrum of destruction from the Grindavik eruption, ranging from localized damage to broader regional impacts, contingent upon its scale and trajectory. Despite the looming threat, groundbreaking technology stands as a formidable ally, empowering experts to monitor and forecast volcanic activity. These advanced technologies, driven by both ground-based and satellite-driven measurements, offer crucial insights into magma movement and tunnel formation, aiding in risk assessment and enabling timely evacuations. In this grand theater of understanding volcanic behavior, the Volcano Disaster Assistance Program, VDAP, takes center stage, featuring a troop of engineers and scientists armed with cutting-edge technology. Their arsenal includes seismic stations, strategically placed as attentive ears to detect even the faintest whispers of underground rumblings. Global positioning system, GPS stations, powered by solar energy, tirelessly track ground movements to identify the telltale signs of an awakening volcano. These instruments don't merely collect data. They transmit it in real time through low-power radios, facilitating swift analysis and response. Indeed, new technologies are now deployed to keep a vigilant eye on volcanoes, alerting both Icelanders and people worldwide to the possibility of an impending eruption. This fusion of technology and expertise marks a significant stride in mitigating the impact of volcanic events and safeguarding communities on a global scale. While the tools at hand haven't given a clear picture of what's going on with the Grindavik volcano, scientists are putting the data they collect to good use in improving their ability to predict future volcanic activities. As everyone holds their breath in anticipation of the impending eruption that has stirred up anxiety, Icelandic authorities are prioritizing the safety of Grindavik residents. Meanwhile, Scientists are actively striving to enhance their volcano monitoring technology for more accurate insights. Do you think scientists would avert this impending seismic occurrence in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comment below. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.